Hello everyone. Uh, I wanted to make a video here to do a little demonstration on uh, densities of gases and how densities of gases actually does have an effect on the properties of gases. When we were talking about gases uh, in the gases chapter, um, which hopefully you've watched the, the videos for that by now, uh, one thing that we mentioned many, many times was that in most cases, we didn't care what the gas was. We didn't care if it was nitrogen gas or hydrogen gas or oxygen or water vapor. We didn't care for most things because most gases behave uh, pretty close to ideal, uh, ideally um, in pretty much any situation. The one situation where we did care what the gas was is if we were interested in the density of the gas because gases do have different densities and I actually have two different gases in these two balloons right here um, just looking at them doesn't really seem like they're very different um, over here I have a balloon that is mostly helium now the gas has been in this balloon for a little while and so it's not uh, quite as buoyant as it was when I first filled it up um, because some of the helium has escaped. Um, just because helium is so tiny, it's able to get uh, out of these uh, rather cheap balloons. Uh, but it is helium, and so it's very, very light. It's uh, slightly lighter than the air around it right now. It's actually being weighed down by the balloon itself. But because the helium is lighter than the air around it, it is a little bit buoyant there, and it will eventually, um, or at least it was a few minutes ago, it will stop sinking and we'll come back up. Um, so that is helium in the balloon. This is sulfur hexafluoride, which is SF6. And if I let this balloon go, it is not going to just very, very gently start to sink down. It is going to do that. It sinks like a rock it almost feels like I have liquid in this thing, which I don't. Uh, this is a gas, uh, but it feels much, much different. And you can hopefully tell this is not behaving like a normal balloon would if it just had air in it. If I had just taken air and blown this up, it would not be dropping like that. So helium, buoyant, sulfur hexafluoride, not so much. But that's not the only difference when you're comparing one gas to another. There's a very interesting thing that happens with gases that have different densities than air. Something that you might have heard about, or actually I'm, I'm sure you've heard before, because um, pretty much everybody has done this at some point in their life. But if you take helium and you breathe it in, Your voice sounds a little bit different, and the reason that your voice sounds a little bit different is because the density of the uh, gas that you're breathing through, or you're talking through, is different than normal air, the sound actually travels differently through that gas. Now, I didn't get a huge change there because I didn't get a really good, whew, I didn't get a really good uh, breath of that gas, but the reason that you sound different with helium is because Because the gas is less dense, the sound actually travels faster through the air. I'm not trying to sound different right now. I just sound different because the frequency of the sound coming from my vocal cords is higher because the sound is moving faster. And so when it gets to the recording device, it sounds like I have a, a higher pitch voice because the, what we hear, what our ears are actually detecting is frequency. Your ears are not detecting, oh, that's this person's voice. Your brain is identifying, oh, that's that person's voice, because the frequency of that voice matches um, that person's vocal cords. Um, so the frequency is what we're actually hearing. And with lighter air or lighter gases, lower density gases, sound travels faster through that. And so our ears detect that as a higher frequency because the sound is actually moving faster. 
our vocal cords are not actually vibrating faster, but because the sound moves at a different speed, it gets interpreted as a, a higher frequency, um, just because it's the, uh, the peaks of the waves of the sound reach your eardrums uh, closer together, and so it seems like it's a higher frequency. So if helium, which is lighter than air, makes you sound like a chipmunk, kind of, I wonder what sulfur hexafluoride will do. Well, let's see. Sulfur hexafluoride makes you sound like a bad guy from one of the cartoons that your kids watch. And it does this because as you're talking and you have the higher density gas, the sound is slower, and you can kind of tell that it's starting to peter out now. And if I take a deep breath, it pretty much goes away. There's still a little bit. Stuck in your lungs there. Because it is higher density, you do are gonna have to help your uh, lungs push it out. because otherwise it will just kind of sit down in there because it's a higher density than air. It'll sit down in there and it will eventually mix with the atmosphere and let itself out, but you don't want to let it do that because essentially as long as it's in your lungs, you're, it's like holding your breath, essentially. Like, and so you don't want to hold your breath for two to three minutes at a time, uh, especially if you're not used to doing that because you will <laughs> pass out, um, even though it feels like you should be getting oxygen because you filled your lungs up with what uh, your brain thinks of as air. But because there's no oxygen in there, you are essentially holding your breath for the whole time you're doing that. So I would not suggest doing this at home. Um, I've done this lots of times. As long as you uh, take big, deep breaths, you don't keep the, the gas in your lungs for very long, um, you're fine. So if you do that one more time here, just because I have some gas left, and I might as well. Take the deep breaths to start off with to, to fully oxygenate yourself because again, you are essentially holding your breath for the whole time you have this in your lungs. So then you pull it into your lungs and you sound really funny for the whole time that you're talking like this. So. If you ever come across someone and you want to show them something really funny, feel free to show them this video of your chemistry professor sounding like a, chemist, like a, a funny cartoon character. I'll see you all uh, in the videos on Blackboard. Bye!